Welcome to my channel. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. My name is John. I have my top requested video for the top 10 albums of 1978. And we'll be focusing on hard rock and heavy metal. This was a big year, uh, lots of really uh, great albums. And we'll be including albums from uh, Judas Priest, ACDC, Rainbow, and Black Sabbath, and a debut album from like one of the biggest rock bands of our time. So with that being said, let me uh, get right into it. First album is Stained the Glass by Judas Priest. This is one of their best albums of the 70s. Lots of uh, great songs on this one. It has Exciter. That was probably one of the first like speed metal or thrash metal songs. Better By You, Better By Me. That's actually a cover song uh, originally by the band Spooky Tooth. And that one was a little controversial. It allegedly contained like subliminal messages. It has the ballad Beyond the Realms of Death. That's a really great one. I had that one on a compilation many years ago. And uh, one of those songs I've always liked. But lots of other heavy songs. On, like, it has the title track, Invader, Saints in Hell. And this is probably one of the heaviest albums of the 70s. Next is the debut album by Van Halen. This is probably one of the best debut albums by like any band. It is kind of like the blueprint of uh, metal for like 80s heavy metal. The album has lots of classics. We've got Running With The Devil, Ain't Talking About Love, Jamie's Crying. The cover of uh, You Really Got Me by The Kinks, Eruption, that's like considered one of the best guitar solos of all time. And, you know, Eddie Van Halen is kind of uh, showing off that two-handed tapping technique, something that hasn't really been seen much uh, previously. And they got the acoustic track Ice Cream Man. So this is definitely one of the best uh, debut albums. Next is uh, Long Live Rock and Roll by Rainbow. So the last album with Ronnie James Dio before he joined Black Sabbath. Some of my favorite songs are the title track, uh, Gates of Babylon, I really love that uh, guitar riff in that one. Kill the King, very heavy song, almost like uh, speed metal on that one. The final song, Rainbow Eyes, is just a uh, power ballad. Reminds me a little of that, like Jimi Hendrix with the guitar playing. So, Again, another uh, great album from the 70s. Next is Power Edge, power Edge <laughs> by ACDC. This album is very underrated. It has a really great sound to it. You know, the songs are very good. I really like the sound quality. You hear the bass and the guitar very well. Now, this is an album that doesn't have like a lot of their like hits on it, but a lot of great deep cuts. This album is very popular among fans, and some of the best songs like Rock and Roll Damnation, Sin City, Down Payment Blues, and Riff Raff, and probably one of the best albums from the Bon Scott period. Next is the Ace Freely solo album. You know, Kiss released four solo albums that year, but this is the best of the bunch. Definitely has the best songs, Rip It Out, really great rocker, Speeding Back to My Baby, it's a very catchy kind of hard rock song. The cover of New York Groove, that was kind of like a minor hit, I believe. Final song, Fractured Mirror, an instrumental that he recorded, and he did like many like follow-ups to that one as well, and this is definitely one of the best Kiss albums of the 70s. Next is Never Say Die by Black Sabbath. This is the last album with Ozzy Osbourne until like 13 from 2013. The album has a sound a little more on like the hard rock direction, you know, similar to like Technical Ecstasy. This one has uh, Bill Ward doing vocals on Swing in the Chain. Actually, I like this one a little better than Technical Ecstasy. We got Never Say Die, really great song. Junior's Eyes, really classic sound. Hard Road, it's like a, you know, a rocker, just very hard driving song. Got the song Breakout, that was like an instrumental because like Ozzy didn't want to sing it. Um, I like this one a lot, I think this one's very underrated. This is Killing Machine by Judas Priest. Um, this was called Hellbent for Leather in the US, you know, there was controversy they were involved in with like a shooting or something like that. This is their second album from 1978. I do feel Stained Glass was the better one, but this one has some good songs on it. It has a cover of The Green Man Alishi, originally by Fleetwood Mac. Delivering the goods, very hard driving, you know, really, um, you know, rocker on that one. There were some of the ones that I don't like that much, like Evening Star and Take on the World, but nevertheless, pretty good album. Next, I'm going with a live album, ACDC, If You Want Blood, You Got It. You know, this one's a very kind of graphic album cover out with like Angus being stabbed with a guitar. But the album has songs from like Powerage, uh, Let There Be Rock, TNT, and Dirty Deeds. Really good representation of songs from the Bon Scott years, and the album has really good sound quality. Um, this is also considered one of the best live albums of all time. Next is Hemispheres by Rush. 
This was the follow-up to A Farewell to Kings. So only has four songs. So the first side of the album is Cygnus X1, Book 2 Hemispheres. Very long, epic, sci-fi-themed prog song with like six parts and a runtime of 18 minutes. Side 2 has Circumstances. It has uh, The Trees. That's actually one of my favorite Rush songs. Talking about the conflict between like maple and oak trees in the forest. Really a well-written song. It has La Via Strangietto. Kind of like a close to a 10 minute song with like 12 parts to it. So it's another long, like epic, um, you know, towards the end. The last album I will talk about is From the Inside by Alice Cooper. So this is one of the better albums from his late 70s period. It's a concept album about his stay in an asylum, you know, due to his alcoholism. So it has the power ballad, How You Gonna See Me Now. You know, that was kind of a minor hit. But some of my other favorites are like Nurse Rosetta and Jackknife Johnny, really great songs. It ends with Inmates We're All Crazy, one of those like uh, Alice Cooper style, kind of spooky, like power ballads or, you know, one of those songs that like ends off the album. And uh, that is all. Those were the top 10 hard rock and uh, metal albums of 1978. Um, let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Um, you know, this was really a good year for our music. So the next video I will do will be the best and worst songs from the first uh, Dio albums. That is, unless the voting changes in the next the few days, it was kind of close with the, you know, the voting. And I, wanna, I might do the punk rock one as well. But that is all. Please remember, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll uh, see you all in the next one.